Hello, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom cell accessory instead of showing that default check mark. So, I had this thought to do something to refresh my mind, to refresh me, and here I am. So, let's get to start working. I'm going to name this project as custom cell, and I will save it on my desktop. Create. I don't need these two classes, just move to trash and in the storyboard I'm gonna take a table view controller that's very easy that's why I select it and we will need a table view class UI table view controller and I name it my table view controller next and create and again we will need a cell class as well in a table view controller cell oh, sorry custom cell Right. Let's set the class to set class custom cell and the class to the view view controller my table view controller and I'm gonna set the height to seventy right. So if you wanna show something custom, you need an image view and UI image um, say 44 by 44 that would be better yeah that's good okay let me copy the image just drag and drop into the project copy make sure you check this okay finish Set the image accessory PNG right looks good and uh, go to this and number of sections one and number of rows I'll put five just to show you guys okay mm. Let me import the cell class. Import. Custom cell dot h. And this from this should be from custom cell class. Custom cell. I didn't set the reusable identifier. Is by identify a custom cell copy and paste it we need to hide the image view because when the application is shown user hasn't selected before the cell so image view sorry 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 I'm very sorry I didn't set outlets so let's go ahead and do that automatic it's not taking still okay just go to this and UI image view image view mm. accessory x accessory all right
Sorry, not hidden. Yes. Let's set the height for the row. Okay. Return turn seventy. And table we did select. Where are you? Are you did select? All right. First table we did select. I think this path, I think this path, yes. We will need two variables uh, from index path because we want to track which one was selected and which one is selected now. So, in this index path, previous index path and current index path all right i'm going to show this to new in the view will appear previous in this path equals new uh, current in this path equals new all right we are ready we are ready we are ready Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna set current index path from the user selected index path. Then if the previous index path is nil, I want I want to set previous index path from current index path. Then if previous index path is not equals to current index path, that means user has tapped on a cell before and now he's tapping on a cell again. So the previous index path is not equal to current index path. It's obvious. Okay. Mm. We will need a variable from cell class custom cell cell. I just said this tunnel. Okay, cell equals table view cell product in this path. In this path. First, we need to unhide the image view. So, hidden. No. So, if you wanna add some animation to this in image, uh, image view, so you have to set transform, right? So, let's go ahead and do that. Image view, set accessory dot transform equals CGFI transform. Um, it should be make transform make scale yeah here it is I'll just set it to zero zero okay and the animation UI view animation animate I'm gonna use spring animation I wanna do I wanna I want this to be done with a less than a second so I'm just gonna set it to 0.8 and delay zero Damping out set 0.5 and the velocity one animation UI view animation. I always prefer this. I love user interaction, it's very easy. And animation goes here, and the completion part goes here. Mm. Cell dot image view accessory dot transform. CGFI identify identity ID. Sorry. Then, what if previous index path and the current index path both equals? Okay, we have to do another if condition if 
previous index path equals equals current index path again the same thing yeah if you want animation you can you can just add animation if you don't want just don't add just just you can hide okay so you can do whatever I'm just gonna add the same content here and we wanna set previous in this path from current in this path because that's how we're gonna track those variables track those cells what what had been selected what's been selected okay I think we are all good to go um, okay let's go and build this project let's run oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry oh forgot one thing just let's just add a label that would be good because you know it'll be gorgeous beautiful Okay. Cell dot label cell dot text equal Let's go ahead and run this. Cell zero one. Let's tap on the cell. Oh, here comes it. Boom, boom. Oh, something is not right. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute. There should be previous in this path. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. And here should be again one because we want the cell from the previous index path. So this is from previous index path, and the cell of previous index path image accessory transform equals CGFI make zero right and this should be from current in this path I think we are good to go let's just run this boom yeah it works alright guys if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe to get more cool stuff like this okay see you guys in the next tutorial bye